Hi and welcome. My name is Bree and this is going to be 30 minutes of gentle yoga. So we'll go ahead and get started on our mats. Um, I personally will have a little blanket, but you can have a blanket or a pillow, anything you, still, you can use as a bolster or something that we have in the house. So we'll go ahead and take a seat. So we'll just sit cross-legged right now. Find ourselves in a comfy position. You can go ahead and start your watches if you need to. But as we sit here, you can sit on that towel or mat or whatever we have. Rolling those shoulders back. We want to sit up nice and tall. Taking a deep breath in and letting it out. So for this class, I just have some Tibetan bowls playing on my phone. Uh, it's a playlist on Spotify, but if you have some calming music on your own phone or a personal device, you may choose to do so, but you don't have to have any music or anything. Just the quietness sometimes is you know, all that we need to kind of unwind and take a moment for ourselves. As we begin to sit here, go ahead and start to focus on that breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Really expanding those lungs, opening up that heart and chest. And we'll start to transition to clearing the mind, taking a moment to do so. And as we sit here, you may close those eyes and start to visualize a blue sky, bright baby blue. Within that sky, we see nice, fluffy, cotton-like clouds. And as we start to think of those clouds, we notice they start to drift across the sky. Taking in a bright, beautiful summer day. We'll begin to bring our hands heart center, bow and that head slightly down. And we'll start by telling ourselves, today I will have a good day. You may say it out loud, or you may say it to yourself. Continue to say it again and again. I will have a good day. A 
if it helps, you may say a short prayer or something to yourself in these few moments of breath. And as we exhale, bring those hands back to the lap, lifting up through that spine a little bit taller, maybe keeping a soft gaze, or you may keep your eyes closed. But go ahead and start by dropping the head over to the right side, pressing those shoulders down, feeling the stretch within the neck. One more breath, and we'll lift up. And we're going to add a small circle, starting with the left side, dropping it down, rolling it, bringing it up opposite side, and once again, dropping down to that left side. Making small, circular motions. Stretching out and releasing. One more time. And now we'll take it over now to the right side, dropping that head down. Rolling it around. Remembering not to force or jolt that head. Just allowing it to slowly rotate. On the next one, we'll let that head hang heavy, taking a couple deep breaths. And slowly roll it up. We're going to take that left hand now out to the mat. Right hand's going to come up. And we're going to just reach up first and then gentle tilt, slight twist in that core, feeling the stretch down the side of the body. Using our breath as we exhale, we'll circle that arm around and make small circles, exhaling, inhaling as we bring it up. You may shorten the lever, level, bending that elbow if you need to, just to make it a little bit smaller. We may extend that arm out. And go ahead, switch directions. Keeping that chest lifted. 
and as we exhale, circle it around, opening up that shoulder, doing great guys, allowing movement to come into that body, starting out small, but we'll get a little bit bigger in just a moment. One more. And now we're going to take it over now. Again, inhaling as we rise up. Exhale as we bring that hand down. And one more. And bring it back up. Bring those hands heart center, bow the head down again. Release those hands, inhale up, bringing those hands up. Exhale, dropping them down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, bring down. Continuing the movement as we breathe. On our next inhale, we'll rise up and we're going to twist over to the right side. Keeping that chest lifted, gaze behind. Take those hands up as we inhale, and take it over now to the other side. center. Once again, telling ourselves our thought of the day. Today, I will have a good day. If you found our mind starting to wander, we'll just bring it back to this moment, to this room that we're in. Inhale, opening those eyes. And we're now going to take it down to all fours, removing that blanket or pillow that we used as a bolster. Go ahead, take a seat back. Rolling those shoulders. Couple of open, big breaths. And take those hands on top of the mat, coming on to all fours. Doesn't matter which way you're facing. Just taking a moment to stack those joints. Pressing those fingertips into the mat is very important. We want to equal out all the weight, taking all the weight away from those wrists that can cause pain later on. Just taking a moment to adjust. And as we exhale, rounding that spine up 
into cat and inhale dropping that belly lifting that tailbone coming into cow shoulders back again exhaling rounding imagine the string is pulling that spine up towards the ceiling and inhale take a moment to move through that spine Breathing through that spine as we move vertebrae by vertebrae. One more, cat and cow. And we'll go ahead, tuck those toes as we find neutral spine. Again, pressing those fingertips into the mat. And we're going to lift those hips up, coming into our first down dog. We'll bring those ears close to those elbows. Lifting that tailbone nice and high, maybe coming onto those tippy toes, but take a moment to just kind of stretch through the body, maybe bending those knees one at a time, stretching out those calves. Remembering to breathe, take a moment right here. Bend those knees back onto the mat. Knees will come as wide as the mat, bringing those big toes together, coming into our first child pose. Let that forehead rest on the mat. Coming back center. And once again, we'll shift forward, pressing those fingertips into the mat, tucking those toes back to down dog, just for transition, bend those knees, and we're going to walk ourselves to the middle of our mat. First, coming into forward fold, knees bent, and ragdolling it up, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming back into mountain pose, rolling those shoulders back. Taking a moment to adjust, shake out those knees. Big breath in. Now we're gonna find our feet hip distance apart. Core pulled in, we're gonna press that tailbone back. Hands come heart center for chair pose. Weight goes into those heels. And deep, full breaths. And maybe as we exhale, allow yourself to sink a little bit lower. One more big breath in. And inhale, rise up. Hands come heart center once again. We're going to go into a balancing pose now, shaking it out, putting our weight into that right side, little bend in that knee. We're going to first start out bringing those toes onto the mat and then placing it on the inside of the calf, pressing that foot, coming into tree pose. We want to avoid putting our knee on our, on our foot on our knee, sorry. So either on that calf, or inner thigh. And you may shake, you may wobble, that's okay. And when you're ready, 
You may grow your tree. Whoopsie. <laughs> Arms out. And of course, if you want even more of a challenge, you can close those eyes. That really can throw you off a bit. Bring those hands heart center once again, releasing that foot, but we're going to kick it out, continuing with that balance. And bend the knee, place it down, shake it out. Whew. We're going to do the other side now. So planting that left foot into the mat, gripping those toes on the mat. We're going to start to lift that right foot. Maybe pressing it on the inside of the calf or placing that foot onto the mat. Squeezing everything. And when you feel you're ready, you may grow that tree. And then of course, ultimate challenge, go ahead and start to close those eyes if you'd like and start to find that balance. Bring those hands, whoop, heart center. And we're gonna extend that foot out. Oh my goodness. I am currently expecting, so my balance is um, just a little bit thrown off. And bring that foot down, shake it out. Get those little wiggles out. We take a moment to roll those shoulders back. We'll drop our head once again now to that left side again. Now to the to the right side. Lift it up. Hands in the heart center. Or you may bring them down. We're going to take a seat once again onto the mat. So today was a little bit more calm, more relaxation. We're going to start back, we're going to start where we started. Taking a seat once again. And placing those hands upon the knees. Closing those eyes. We'll come back to that thought. Today, I will have a good day. Now you may choose to stay where you're at seated, or very slowly, you may turn sideways, lie all the way down, finding that final Shavasana or relaxation pose. If you choose to lie down, hands are going to come out to the sides, rolling those shoulders back, opening up that heart, and allowing yourself just to relax. Release any tension from the shoulders and neck, as if you're melting into the mat. Closing those eyes, Relaxing that body. Now for the last few minutes of class, I will leave for just a moment. This is your time to relax and to kind of be here. And I will come back and we will go from there. So I let that mind stay where you're at. Finding that final relaxation.
as we start to come back to that mat, go ahead and start to wiggle those fingers and toes if we are in that final shavasana spot. If we are seated, go ahead and roll those shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. For the people lying down, go ahead and bring those knees to chest, one leg at a time. And start to gently rock side to side, massaging that lower back. When you're ready, you'll roll up to a seated position where we will all meet together, sitting cross-legged, hands upon those knees. Take a couple of deep breaths. We'll bring those hands heart center, bowing that head for that thought one more time, telling ourselves, today I will have a good day. And we're going to say it to ourselves a couple more times, telling our mind and our spirit that today we will have a good day. Whether it started out great or maybe it was a little bit more difficult. For the remainder part of the day, we will have a clear, open mind filled with possibility and happiness. Go ahead, open those eyes. Take those arms up. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale up. Hands come heart center. And thank you so much for joining me today for 30 minutes. Great time for lunch to just kind of relax. Come back to the moment. Breathe. Ready to tackle life's, you know, what brings, what comes next. We have different classes offered virtually through CSU. Um, go ahead and check that out. You can see our website, or you can just tune in to our Facebook page. So thank you so much, and namaste. Take care. Bye.